This is Twit. What do you think of the Quibi? This is the short form streaming video service by uh, Meg Whitman and Jeff Katzenberg. Um, I don't know. Do I? Do you want to watch short shows? Is there a market? Fascinated for this? by the concept. I think there is. Same. Um, I'm fascinated by the concept. I'm not crazy about any of the first shows they yeah. put out. None of those make me think like, oh yeah, I, I've got to see that. But all big celebrities, again, big names, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they have a lot of money to spend. It's not TikTok. It's not YouTube. It's Quibi. Uh, you can get it for free, uh, I think, for some, I can't remember, three months. If you're a T-Mobile subscriber, they're starting to make deals. Uh, launches on Monday, tomorrow. Quibi yeah, I, it's it's interesting timing. I think I read something, or I didn't read the article. I just saw the headline that it's either like the best or or the worst timing for a launch. Um you know, I've, I've, I'm intrigued by this because I think the concept is interesting. Uh, I definitely think that there's a market for it there. It depends on the execution a lot. Content is hard, but but Jeffrey Katzenberg, I would I would never bet against him um, because his, you know, track record speaks for itself. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I think that there is probably a place, especially as we're all consuming stuff, to kind of sit in between, you know, YouTube and, you know, Netflix and Hulu. Uh, and and TikTok and other things. So, I'm I'm I definitely to, uh, I'm definitely going to sign up. I went to their um, keynote at, at CES and I sat in the audience and I was like, oh, this this seems like a really good idea. That and then I walked out and I remembered, no, this is a dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that at keynotes. It's the reality yeah, 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 distortion yeah, yeah. field. A good keynote will make you think anything's a good idea. Why is it a dumb it. idea? Because number one, um, who who needs uh, why why are they hamstringing themselves and doing the short form? So right. like, the it, it some of the things are just like little webisodes, episodes, or whatever. But some of them are shot like real movies, where you have to watch it ten minutes at a time. So why are they not just putting it together as a two hour thing? It's like this weird experiment. And and not to put on the the history hat, but Leo, you will remember this. I mean, Katzenberg and Spielberg and all those guys did pop.com back in the, yeah. the dot com bubble. That and it was true. the same that thing yeah. where he was obsessed with five minute or two. It's like Katzenberg, somebody told him that kids today don't have That's an right. attention span or something. And he it's just never left his head. That's right. And uh, I've always and gone not, in the opposite direction. I'm the guy doing two hour and a half podcasts. In fact, that's right. Well, about but that's where we my point. Now. Is like, why are they artificially <laughs> hamstringing themselves? Like, just yeah. so okay, we we we're only going to make uh, Quibi. The name is Quick Bites, so like that's their whole reason for being. But I just don't understand why they're doing it that way. Yeah, here's what I find I I will find intriguing. Is if they find if this is a new medium where they can say, look, you got you know that's what TikTok did and and Vine before it, and it became something pretty important uh, because the constraint made it interesting. So I'm if you just take a, a 22 minute you know sitcom and chop it up into into chunks or a two hour right. movie and chop it into chunks, that's not interesting. And I'm afraid, which is what their, they seem to want, given to do, their right? Hollywood roots, they may do that. Uh, right. I'm with you. It's like, if that's all it is, then that's not interesting. But this has always been the promise of these mediums to me. And we've seen some people do it successfully, but many of them not. Usually is, by accident, if you adapt, right? Yeah. Usually if, if you it's adapt like, who medium, knew that Vine was going to become, make these celebrities and stars? You right. Know? But if you adapt the medium, that's actually, I, I think you're right. It's an interesting constraint. Um, but if all you're going to do is is chop the existing things up, I mean, it's similar to, I think, Netflix now, people have finally hit their stride in starting to produce TV shows for the age of binging. But for a long time, and, and some are still produced this way, it is still very much produced in an episodic way, even if all the episodes are released at once. Right. And that adjusts your story structure. You know, you have to give background. You have to catch people up because you're, you know, producing them in capsules. Whereas now we have started to see more shows go into a, we're not going to give you the backstory. Yeah. We're just going to continue on no the next No more previously thing. on. Right. But, but you know, uh, it'll be interesting to see, like, if it, if they can start to create new things just for this medium. Um, my, uh, my podcast co-host, um, uh, Simone de Rochefort, um, Polygon, where she works, they are working on something for Quibi and it won't be launching at launch, but it'll be available after that. And she seems pretty excited. So oh. very least, I, 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 well, I would to never root against Simone. I think she's great. Uh, I, <laughs> 
I'm not a good person. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm rooting against him because I have a little, it's a little, it's almost schadenfreude. I don't want them to succeed because I don't want to see Hollywood march into our realm. I feel like if, if it organically develops, if Vine or YouTube or Periscope or, or TikTok organically develops as a new medium, from the ground up, from the grassroots up, that's great. If Hollywood says, oh, let's see what the kids are doing. We're going to make up something that the kids will like come from the top down. I hate that. And so that's I'm, why I think it won't work. That's why I'm rooting against them. And it may work. Who but, knows? But that's why well, I'm rooting against But don't against you think... I, and, and nothing against like I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a terrible person too, but uh, and and I definitely have like my own like shot and void of thing. But don't you think? I mean that one of the problems that tech companies have had, I think just in general, has been they don't understand content, and and conversely, one of the problems that Hollywood places have had is they don't understand technology. So, you know, I, yeah, we've I don't been know waiting for the so-called convergence since 2001. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think Netflix is probably the closest we have to that, right? Or, yeah. or, or maybe Prime. But even then, I think you could argue like the reason that Apple TV's initial four reason to content didn't work is they didn't have content people doing anything, you know. And that's why we, why we got things like you know, a, 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 you know, Attack of the Apps or, or whatever the the game show was called. Um, and and once they hired actual content people from Hollywood, the content got a lot better. So. I don't know. You need a mix, but uh, it's interesting. But but I'm with you. I mean, I'm skeptical, but I'm also it's I don't know. Anytime this much money has gone into something and you have people this cachet, it's either going to succeed despite the hype cycle or it's going to be one of those really interesting, you know, wow, people really thought that was going to be a thing. Right. It wasn't. Yeah. You know?